Okay, the next one's for Tanya. Uh, I think it's also a Facebook question. Uh, okay. I have huge windows. I can read this okay, one because they, they blew it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Hartman, she says she has huge windows. Mm -hmm. It's great, but it's a major privacy issue because it faces into the neighborhood. I'm wondering if you have any clever ideas for window coverings um, since mm -hmm. she wants them covered. Actually, there are a lot of great ideas. So for one thing, we can take the window and turn it into somewhat of a piece of art. You know, I did your green rooms. I she did all of our green rooms uh, with different themes. You know, my favorite one's the upstate one, the Adirondack looking -y one. But everybody loves the Hamptons. And that's yes. exactly yeah. what it, where I was going with it. So these green rooms have glass panels, and we had to come up with a solution to give privacy. Are either to of you guys? To the guests, yeah. of course. Right. So why don't I bring you guys? Let me take you all back there, and I'll show you exactly what I did. Hey, all right. So we're in the Hamptons room. This is one of the green rooms that I got to design here for Rachel. I think this is her favorite one, actually. So this here was what we kind of figured out would be a good solution for a big glass wall to add privacy. I'll tell you what not to do. What not to do is what this lady did. I just bought a condo in Florida, and she had this beautiful nine-foot window, but it overlooked into the neighbor's place. Apparently, she didn't want to see what was going on in there, so she boarded it up with plywood and then plastered right over it. So on the outside, there was a window, and on the inside, it was like a total sheetrocked, blocked off wall. So don't do that, okay? Here's what you can do. This right here is laminate. It's something that you would use to resurface your countertops. It's like this. It comes in a bajillion different finishes. So you could have it look like stainless steel. You could have it look like wood, um, all different types of woods. You could just do a color. If it's a kid's playroom, you can mix and match colors. So you get the idea. So what we did here was we used this really nice driftwood looking one because this is the Hamptons room. We used conduit pipe. And all we did was core holes right into, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but we cored some holes here to fit the pipe in. And then we wove this laminate right through. It's really beautiful, Tanya. I do love that. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I was just whispering to these guys, what's terrific about it is it, if that was a natural light source on the other side of that, it still lets light in and right. it looks like this great basket weave. It's a beautiful effect. Yeah. It totally peeks through, but if you do want to let light in a little bit more, this is for ultimate privacy. I have this option here. So this is something you can pick up from any big box hardware store. It's just that frosted glass that applies right over the glass. Wow. And people get nervous. They think it's going to be really hard to do. It is the same exact thing that goes on the face of your cell phone. So, you know, it doesn't stick. It's not going to ruin your windows. All you need is a little um, spray cleaner and a credit card. And then you put it on and you just kind of squeegee it out. That so, is so cool. awesome. It's great. It's a perfect thing for And bathrooms. those are two affordable ideas, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So cool.